YouTube fam, this is Shantae LeVette and I'm coming to you with my fifth video. It is my all time favorites, my countdown of one through five, plus two honorable mentions. It was so hard to pick the list because I am a avid collector of perfumes. Hopefully you've watched the other videos. I got a tip at the end of this one. But let me talk to you now about my first honorable mention, which is Narcisco Rodriguez Lay Air for Her. Very clean bottle. I mean, you know, he's a designer. He did some work for the first lady. I just hadn't smelled his perfumes before. You know, I, I'm always smelling. Got the opportunity to smell his until the other day. This one just came out last year in 2013 and it just blew me away. I really like all of the perfumes and I'm pretty sure I'll get my hands on all of them one day. Notes that's in this particular perfume is Jasmine, Pink Peony, Rose, Amber, Frozen Lily of the Valley, Musk and Patchouli, and Cyclamen. I hope I'm saying that right. But I absolutely just fell in love with this one. I, when you first smell it, it almost has a manly smell to it. I smell It smells leathery, and nothing in this perfume signals leather. But when it dries down, the young lady gave me a sample. I'm at the perfume counter, and she sprayed it on this little pink ribbon and I'm telling you the perfume was haunting to me it literally drove me crazy every time I walked into my room I could smell it and I told my honey I have to have that perfume I have to have that perfume and I finally wore him down and he got it for me he had already got me one for Valentine's Day but he went back and got me this one because I acted like a baby but I got it and I love it the next perfume that is an honorable mention um, that I want to talk about and I smelled it on a young lady that I worked with I didn't know her but she came up and she walked past me and I said I don't know what you have on but I'm gonna have it too and it is actually I want to say Theory I think you say it like that Theory Mugler's Alien I smelled Angel before and I, I didn't really care for the Angel but this one right here I really like the Alien and I just think it's a crazy name but Hey, it works. The perfume, the notes that are in this perfume is the Indian, Indian Jasmine, Solar Accord, Woods, Green Notes, Cashmerian, White Amber, and Vanilla. And it is a floral, musky floral. I know I say that all the time, goodness. But I think the Jasmine and the, the White Amber and the Vanilla it has to be the solar cords. Something in here just makes this perfume so pretty and it smells really good. It kind of smells grapey, like grape. Like a little grape flavor, but nothing about grape on there. But it really smells really pretty on. And, you know, they have these particular bottles that you can actually go and just get your bottle refilled. You don't have to buy a new bottle every time. And I think that's pretty neat. This is a two ounce I'm not really sure if this is the largest one. I definitely will keep this one in my collection, but it is number, I guess, six on the countdown, but this is my honorable mention. The next perfume, <laughs> we're in the top five that I wanna talk about. I wanted this perfume for a long time. I would say that this perfume is definitely, you definitely have to have a mature nose for this one. I think it's very beautiful. It lasts a long time. And number five on my all time favorite countdown is a Coco Chanel Mademoiselle. And this is the perfume. This is the 3.4. The notes that are in this one is orange, my, again, I love that bergamot, grapefruit, rose, Italian jasmine, Indonesian patchouli, Haitian vetiver, bourbon vanilla, all these fancy things, white musk, and lychee. I hope I'm saying that right. But I tell you, this one is, it's beautiful to me. Uh, it's a very classy, soapy, floral and of course very classic bottle coco you know embellishes femininity being a woman and i just think this is a beautiful perfume it really smells good on some people say they don't like it i mean check it out it's a lot of the chanel's that i do not care for that i wouldn't wear but this one i, I do like this one the next one on my countdown my number four my number four my number four is again by Chanel and it's Chance but this one 
it's the, I don't know if you can see the color, it's green. It's the Eau Fraiche or Eau Fresh. They have two. They have the original Chance and then they came out with this one. And what I love about this perfume, of course the bottle is really cute. What I love about this perfume is that it is super fresh. And the dry down on this is so pretty. I, it just dries down pretty. It lasts a long time. I get a lot of compliments on this particular perfume when I wear it. The notes that's in this particular Chance, the fresh one, is citrus, cedar, jasmine, water, hyacinth, pink pepper, iris, again, vetiver, musk, and amber. And it's one of my favorites. This is actually my second bottle. We went on a, a trip, a cruise, and I packed my bottle and it got broke. Oh, tear, tear, tear. It was like losing a child. But we bought another one on the ship and it was pretty, it was a good price, you know, you have to pay all the taxes and stuff. So, love this one. We'll always have this one in my collection. <laughs> number three, number three on my top five collection. I tell you, it was hard. This perfume, I want to say came out in 2012. This particular maker makes things that every woman loves. I don't own a pair, but I would love to. So the next best thing for me is, and that is Jimmy Choo, Jimmy Choo. He has a new one out. I think it's Jimmy Choo Flash. I don't, I didn't really care for that one, but this one is just a great combination. Oh my goodness. The notes in this one is green, cypher, fruity, that is, tiger, orchid, toffee, and Indonesian patchouli. Mm -hmm. And I tell you, it's very incense patchouli. If you like patchouli, if you're, I always say it's very like an earthy fragrance. Patchouli just reminds me of something that's earthy for whatever reason. You will absolutely love the Jimmy Choo. Longevity, silage, outstanding on this one. I can spray this on me if we have gone out and in the next morning, you know, you go out and you come home. Usually I don't take a bath, but I do take baths. But when I can get up in the morning and I can still smell this perfume on me, it's just like, whoa. So you really don't need a lot of this. I did get this in the gift set. I got the lotion and the shower gel and everything smells true to form. Beautiful perfume. Every time I go somewhere, I get a compliment on it. My mom would ask me every time I work, what do you have on? And I just got her. I went ahead and got her some. And then my sister, I want some. So I got her a bottle too. So we all have Jimmy Choo, but I tell you, absolutely gorgeous down to number one and two or two and one oh, it was so hard it was so hard this perfume of course I, I tell you it is it's in a beautiful bottle it was not cheap and even if you got it at a discount it's still pretty pricey they have a lot of perfumes but this was the only one that I really connected with and this is bond number nine Astor Place and let me tell you, look how gorgeous that bottle is. Is that just not a gorgeous bottle? The young lady that makes these perfumes, I, she originally worked for uh, the makers of Creed and they are, they've been around forever and just a, a house of uh, excellent line of perfumes. They are pricey. I was surprised that I got this one. I got this one two Christmases ago and I tell you, the combinations that they have with the bonds, you know, they do a lot of unisex. I'm not really into unisex. They said this one was unisex, but tell, I'm telling you, I, I don't think a, a man would want to wear this. Some of the notes that are in bond number nine's Astro Place is mandarin, violet leaves, freesia, red poppy, iris root, teakwood, musk, and amber. And when you when it first comes out, it smells very floral, sweet, but later on it dries down to more of a, that tiki wood musk. And I remember we had gone to church and afterwards, we actually went to a movie, usually you don't do that, but went to a movie and my youngest son was sitting next to me and he leaned on me. He was like, oh mama, you smell so good. And I was just like, oh, my heart is melting. This perfume, absolutely love. Trust me, it. I wore this one for really special occasions. It's not something that I would put on every day. It's a, a joy to smell it, but 
it is number two on my list and uh, i mean the bottle is pretty big this is a, a i think it's a it should be a 3.4 a big bottle and like i said they're pretty pricey so trust me i'm not wearing this one every day but it's definitely one that i'm so happy that i have in my collection ah, hercules hercules the last and final perfume that I'm going to talk about, it is my all-time favorite. I smelled this perfume years ago. I always wanted it. I got it in a gift set. The lotion and the shower gel smells just like the perfume. It lasts. It's just like that. the Jimmy Choo. You can spray it on. You will smell it on yourself the next day. I can't say enough about this perfume. And there has never been a time that I've worn this perfume and I did not get compliments all day. It lasts, it comes off of your body, it has some of my favorite ingredients in it, and as long as they make it, it will always be in my collection. And the number one stunner is Michael Kors by Michael Kors. Mm -hmm. What's in this perfume is Freesia, Incense, Chinese Osmethus, Tuberose, Lily, Peony, Oris Root, Tahitian Vetiver, Musk, and Cashmere Wood. And what's surprising to me is that this perfume does not have gardenia in it because it's one of my favorite scents. And that's what it smells like, but I think what's coming off smelling like gardenia is actually the tuberose. Mixed with that Lily and the Peony, absolutely heavenly. I just, I thank the Lord for having a nose and being able to smell. This lights up my day. I'll wear this all year round. I know some people say it's heavy and they can wear it in the evening, in the winter. If I feel like wearing it in the summer, I'll wear it in the summer. If I feel like wearing it in the spring, I don't spray as much on. I might just a small, but I wear this perfume all the time. I absolutely love it. It's hands down my favorite. I will always have this perfume as long as they make it. And, um, <laughs> Yay! I love this perfume. Those were my top all-time favorite perfumes. My last tip that I want to give you all today is wear what you love. I know some people say, oh, this perfume is for young girls. Viva La Juicies, the juices are for the young girls. Carolina Herrera is for someone else or Coco Mademoiselle. The tip is wear what you love. Don't allow somebody to dictate what you like, what your nose loves, because, hey, in the end, it's all about you. You only get to live once. And I tell you, I want to go out of here smelling good. So hopefully my tips have helped you. I'm thinking about doing a my favorite men, I guess my favorite men's colognes. My honey, he has a lot. I'll probably do a video where I do maybe top count down my top five favorites of his you all can leave a comment to let me know if i'm a collector or if i'm truly an addict this is shantae levette and thank you for watching